Okay, so this is my Apple TV 4, uh, which comes with a Bluetooth remote control. Came out in 2015, and it still feels like the fastest smart TV operating system, and it's still an absolute pleasure to use. Um, and part of the reason it feels so fast, because it's not on super quick hardware, uh, obviously the software is very good, but a big reason uh, is Bluetooth remotes. Now, TV manufacturers really need to think about putting Bluetooth remotes on any of their premium TVs because it actually makes a big speed difference uh, to because there's less input lag. Uh, so I can move around really, really quickly. If I pick up my Sony TV remote control, and because this is uh, connected via HDMI, I can use the Sony TV remote to flick through. But you can see the menus already are considerably slower. No matter how fast I press, uh, it's certainly a lot slower. Now, the reason I thought about this is the other day uh, I was playing around with the new Sony AG9 OLED set and the remote control looks different uh, and it turns out the remote control is a Bluetooth remote control. And if you use that Bluetooth remote control on the TV, uh, it's lovely and quick. If you go back to using an infrared remote control on that same TV, uh, it certainly doesn't feel as quick. Uh, so if I now flick through these menus, up and down, and if I go left and right on this YouTube here, you can see that it's it's not bad, it's, it's all right. Um, it's certainly nowhere near as fast as my Apple TV. But if I pick up an Xbox controller, uh, because the input lag is so much less, uh, it actually flicks through these tiles much, much quicker. So part of what's holding this TV back from a speed point of view is the fact that it's using an infrared remote control. And there's certainly quite a lot of high-end TVs that are still using infrared remote controls. Now, so Sony have changed over, uh, so some of their new range, the slimmer looking remote, and I'll put it on screen now. Uh, this is the one that's Bluetooth. Uh, LG have been using Bluetooth for their Magic Remote and obviously they use a pointer um, so that's a different way of doing it and that feels quicker to move around. Samsung do it on the Bixby remote control. Uh, it, it really needs to be on all TVs because uh, well, and certainly what you pay for a lot of TVs the, the fact that they could make the experience a lot better by having a Bluetooth remote control, especially like the Apple TV one, which is a rechargeable remote control with a lithium battery, um, and that, that battery lasts for ages. Um, but the fact that you don't have to point it at the TV is a really nice thing as well. So if you haven't tried it, and there is an option to try a Bluetooth controller with your smart TV, certainly some of the bottom end Samsung TVs will still work with the Bixby remote. You actually find, and, and even down to button presses as well, you know, I mean, this, this remote has really lovely buttons which are very responsive and just, just feel nice to the touch. Whereas a lot of these cheaper, sort of horrible rubbery buttons that have been used for years, they really need to switch over to proper micro switch buttons. Uh, the user experience is just, it's just nicer. Um, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I was really surprised at how much quicker uh, Bluetooth was to infrared and why manufacturers are still using infrared uh, as a technology because it's making their OS seem slower. It's a bit like uh, the difference between some of the Roku's and uh, an Amazon Fire Stick. So the Amazon Fire Stick generally uses Bluetooth and some of the Roku's use infrared like the Now TV box uh, and it actually feels slow and sluggish as a result of that. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.